within it are not. And I do want to say, because I know a lot of folks in this room focus on workforce development issues um, and have kind of largely kind of looked away from the restaurant industry, seeing it as a low-wage sector, a piece that a lot of people don't know is that there actually are livable wage jobs in this industry. 20% of the jobs, according to our 10 years of research have shown, 20% of the jobs are actually livable wage jobs. So we're talking about uh, fine dining restaurants, largely wait staff and bartending positions, management positions in fine dining restaurants, where waiters and bartenders in a city like Washington, D.C. or New York can earn between fifty and $150,000 a year. Those jobs are not held largely by women, workers of color, or immigrants. Um, they're held largely by white men. And the issue, though, is that there actually is no formalized career path in this industry. So it's not like you could actually, there's a myth that you could start as a dishwasher and one day own your own restaurant. Um, but we've really had to take it upon ourselves as an organization to build a career path in this industry. And I want to say that given that there are livable wage jobs, given that there's tremendous revenue, and given that this is one of the largest industries, it's just one that I'm sorry that people in this room cannot continue to ignore. We cannot ignore or overlook this sector as one that we don't focus on for training or workforce opportunities because there's tremendous potential and frankly it's where most workers are going to work. Um, if one in ten Americans are going there, we see it in our work, people being laid off from a lot of different other sectors and coming into the restaurant industry, sometimes out of necessity, but a lot of times because people take great pride in cooking and serving and in hospitality. And it should be work that's valued with real wages. So there are some livable wage jobs in the industry. It is true that the majority, 80% of the jobs, are very low wages. In fact, uh, every year, restaurant industry Meet, makes the record of being, uh, having seven of the 11 lowest paid occupations according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the country and the two absolute lowest paid occupations last year were in restaurants. That's the lowest, lower than farm workers, lower than domestic workers, lower than every other occupational category restaurant workers make it to the bottom. Even though the, the, the industry is doing, is, is among the best, <laughs> is doing the best in terms of revenue.